welcome back to another Tuesday Vox Edit Sandbox whatever I want it to be stream. How are we doing? Uh, Ipeg, hey, when do you think we'll be able to sell our art? I actually am not 100% sure. I do know we are slowly opening up the user-generated content. However, until I don't believe we, you'll be able to until we move to Polygon to start with. We're transitioning over to Polygon. So I don't think, at least not until we're on Polygon, but also you will need those gems and catalysts to be able to mint your assets. So that is another thing. So even though we're slowly opening up the user-generated content until people can start having those gems and catalysts, so I'm not 100% sure. And even if I did know, that is something I wouldn't be able to tell you. Uh, music is just right, by the way. Thanks, I've turned the music off now. The, by the way, that is my own music, music I own, so don't use it. I do not give permission for it to be, be usable. I want to sell right now. Unfortunately, you can't. And do bear in mind as well that we will have people that will check over those assets. And if you do copyright, break terms and conditions and all of that stuff, uh, your assets will be taken off of the site. Or if you somehow manage to get through and mint a copyrighted asset, then and then it will just be hidden from the site because we won't be able to burn your asset for you, but we will be able to hide that asset based on it breaking terms and conditions. Uh, hey, Vox, Makina, and V, how are you doing? I am Bongali, hello to you as well. How is everyone? Well, that's nice, Ipec. But yes, hopefully everyone's doing really good. Did you all have a good weekend? I know some of you I would have seen the other day, but yeah. Also, I am Bongali. I I saw that you did like your own version of Pororo and whatever the bear's called, forgotten the bear's name. Just, I, I, I feel like this hasn't been made fairly obvious. But for the Pro Game Jam contest, do not make your own versions of those characters. Don't do that. That is copyright. If you're making that as just like a cool thing to show off, then that's great. But obviously, like, and, and it's cute. I like what you've done. It's definitely cute, but you you can't use that in a Game Jam. Uh, of on a group of nodes and was confused or have to use the rig base for this. Okay. Um, so Metapunks, I did, I saw your message, but I saw your message while I was needing to do stuff, which is why I didn't respond to you. So I'm glad that you're here and maybe I can do it on this. So on here, I've got a bunch of stuff. You should always, always, this is what I tell absolutely everybody, get into the habit of doing this good practice. Good practice straight away from your root. So on the skeleton, do a control node. This will be where you can move absolutely everything. Everything should be a child node off of this control node. You should not be doing the only child node coming off of the root should be the control node. You should have nothing else coming off of the root for one. And then I make separate nodes. So I've got a wall node. So this one will move all like the wall. So anything that is associated to this. So if I needed to move the whole room over here, but nothing inside of it, that's how I would do that. And then some others, I've got easels. So the easels there. And because the painting's attached to the easel, that also moves. If I make that big, so I've got back, side, side, mid bar, and Conrad is connected to the ease. So Pororo Game Jam is not making Pororo as a main character. No, it isn't. I feel like this was not, not really made obvious at all. I looked at, yeah, I, I feel like they've not made it obvious at all. Uh, Game Jam. In fact, I think I can just get to it off of the sandbox site. Give me a second. Got a new fancy, which reminds me, they got a new fancy homepage. Are you going to load? Please load. Thank you. So alpha, not alpha, sorry, home. We've got now this lovely what's new community thing. Some of this doesn't work properly, which is a bit annoying. Where is the Pororo one? That was up here. 
Our one's gone. Great. Announcements. <sighs> Can't even scroll along. Right. In that case, give me a second. Sandbox Pro Game Jam. There we go. Is this it? This is this one. This is from Play to Earn, so that can't be the right one. Where's the correct one? This one. No! Right, give me a second. I'll get there. I'll find it. Here we go. Yep. Right. Load. Oh, is looking for a great experience during his metaverse trip. Are you ready to see how happy Perara and his friends are playing in the metaverse? This is your chance to create a new experience that they could have fun with. Basically, from what I've gathered, it needs to be a family friendly game. So it needs to be done, like catered towards the younger audience. Said on stream, one can use the asset unless it looks weird. See, this is the thing. I would have thought that would be okay, but it isn't because you will have to obviously have those. It's not okay because those assets, like if you create your own Pororo, those assets need to be uploaded uh, into the marketplace and that will breach obviously copyright unless, so you would need to purchase these or create a family friendly game. Now, it doesn't really say you need to use Pororo. Uh, submit, blah, blah, blah. Game Jam, what makes an entry valid? Who can join? How do you... Yeah. So it doesn't really give enough information. And I feel like this wasn't... There wasn't enough. I'm going to be honest. There wasn't enough. The thing is, Andy is the one that runs the Game Jams. And I already saw Andy say... Do not make your own Pororo. I've already seen him say that. It's better to use default avatars. I mean, why why not make your own character for the Pororo universe? They're just anamorphic animals. Why don't you make a little panda or a little elephant? You know, make make your own little character. You could do that. But Andy is in charge and I have seen Andy tell people don't and it would, to me that makes sense, don't make your own because those assets need to be uploaded for you to have your game in the gallery. So it would break copyright if you're able to do that. So I would say don't, don't do it. I would, I would be at least... 99.9% .9 sure that your entry would be voided if you made your own Pororo character. I would believe. So let's just check. We, would we protected by copyright if we share our progress on social media? I mean, I suppose to some extent you're protected in a sense that you know, basically someone like me that is showing you every single step when I create an asset, I am leaving myself vulnerable to people being able to copy almost exactly how I have created an asset. Now, having two assets that look similar but not the same does not mean that they have been copied. You can create a, a dog and I can create a dog never seeing your dog and those two dogs could look a little bit similar. But... It's not impeding on copyright because just because they look similar, because they're both dogs, it would be more of have they been created almost in the exact same way. There's numerous uh, UFO crane machine games. I've made one. I've seen one similar to mine. 
It's not exactly like mine. Their animation is slightly different. They've done other little bits to their animation. So that's not, they've not infringed on what I've created. Yeah, this, they really needed to make it like, because when it said Pororo, you would think the game jam means, but if you own these characters, if you own anything from that, so if you go to the marketplace and we can go down here, Pororo, uh, I mean, they're sold out. You can't, you can't give, you know, some of these you could get po Poby, Loopy, Ice Hockey Petty. I mean, they're not cheap, but... You could get Astronaut Eddie, so you could use those in your games. Now you could get the equipments. Get little bits here. So you can use those in your games, but you need to own them. Then my dog and your dog. What's the difference then? My dog, your dog. The I mean, they could be... I mean, if I did... A dog's probably... Mm, not a bad example, but let's just say we both took the the small mammal template. We both made a rabbit. We both made a rabbit. I added a few extra animations to my rabbit, a hopping animation or like a more hopping animation, a different, you know, maybe a, a kick animation. The rabbit's got a kick attack. And I did a pure black rabbit. It's just all black, maybe like one little white spot on the forehead or a white patch on the back or it's got little white socks for paws and you made the same thing that like you made yours all black with like little white socks there is a potential that if your rabbit is the exact same coloring as my rabbit the exact same then if my rabbit was uploaded first as in if i put that in my account first it will show the date that it went into my account when i exported it then I would, I would be the copyright owner to that and yours would then be either removed or hidden from the site so people can't see it. Um, but if you had done that with slightly different colouring, then that would be the difference. Uh, to share in the marketplace, then after that in social media. I mean, just make sure you export, even if it's unfinished, you can export something to your inventory unfinished and still edit it. You would have to then just, when you export the finished thing, you would just export and click replace when it goes to the site. You would click replace. And then that way you've got that there. Node thing, yes. Right, so the node thing. Uh, you would need to make sure that they're in. I'm not, without seeing exactly what you want to do, I'm not too sure what you want to move. But if you want to move like a group of objects that are attached to each other, you need them to be moved from their nodes. So like, let's say, you know, you're working on a human and you want to move their arm, you should be also moving the entire arm. So like the upper arm, forearm, and the hand should all be moving together. You should have them being parent and child nodes off of one another, but you should always have a control node. So um, if I needed a group of nodes to rotate at a specific point, uh, I would need to build it on the animator pivot point at zero, zero, zero. Potentially, yes, uh, with a like rotate pipe circular to animate. Do you want like a pipe to be rotating? In which case I would have the pivot points centered. If you want something rotating from like the center point, you want it to rotate like a circle, you would center that in the middle. You would have this up at, this is 55, so you would have it at uh, uh, 27.5. Yes, 26. So you would move that up 27.5, and you would have that at uh, 1.5. But yeah, if you want something to rotate in a circular motion, you would need it centered up here on that one item and you would need to make sure the control node as well is 
centered at I don't without seeing it it's hard for me to explain that's how I would do it yes so you would have you would have the main one if you've got without literally without saying what you're trying to do like can you screenshot and maybe send it to me uh in a dm or something Looks like you're look, looking and feel, look, for, I look and feel better. Or it looks like, wait, looks like you are feeling better. Not that I look better, I, I feel, but yeah, I do. I do, I do, I do. I did have like a real bad bout of uh, heartburn when I was on the train coming back from London the other day. It, luckily we were very, very near the train station. The legit thought I was having a heart attack and it was very, very worrying. I went incredibly pale and had a horrible feeling in my chest but luckily we got we got off the train i thought i was gonna throw up we got off the train i went straight to go get to the toilet and luckily like just being like walking off of the train and having like f like cold fresh air hit me seemed to take like that entire nausea away and like made my chest not feel like the way it was feeling uh which is good and then um that it went away completely because we were going to like try and get to the nearest like uh, super drug or boots, which is, you know, like a shop that sells things like heartburn tablets, like Brenner's and stuff. Scary. It was a little bit because I've had it a couple of times, but also, so it didn't help. We, it, the train was super, super crowded. So we did manage to get seats. We did get seats and but we had like a bunch of bags with us so i was kind of like i had a bag around me my clothes were feeling probably a little bit tight because of being so compact with bags uh pressed against me and the bra i was wearing wasn't was like on the slightly tighter side so as soon as i got off the train i was like this is coming off just whipped that baby bad boy off i was like nope my chest needs, like, if, if I could, I would have just been like, yeah, I've got to totally get undressed. But we were right, like, literally, like, I had to wait all of about five to ten minutes. But we sat down and I sort of got up out of the seat to try and stretch. Because uh, standing up helps a lot. And it just wasn't working. I was like, I've got to walk ready to get off the train. I to hear that it wasn't uh, some serious condition. I don't believe it is. I've been getting heartburn a little bit more often. So I am a bit worried that it might not actually be heartburn. I don't know about anybody else that gets severe heartburn. Because when I read about it, it's like, oh yeah, you can feel like the acid and stuff coming up. And I was like, I can't, I can't feel that. I just feel a horrible sensation in like the middle of my chest. Right, like right below my rib cage. Like literally... You can't really see on here, but like, like right here, like where, where your, if you're a woman, where your bra band is around that area, just around there. I mean, you should, honestly, you should be able to just send me whatever on Discord. I don't have it closed. One sec, this might be important that I've got to look at. Uh. but also you have you have me on uh well i mean you can friend request me it feels like yeah well that's that's what it <laughs> that's what it felt like it was probably more on on the more painful side than normal so i was going to do some vox editing but i'm going to be playing uh the the maze we're gonna play the maze shush uh we're gonna be playing the maze you can move your control node where you want the control node should automatically be at zero 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 Oh wait, it might not be. No, my control node's all the way over here. So if I want my control node to be at the center of the root, I would have to move it here. But I don't want my whole object to be over there. 
that I need to move this. It's centered. That looks about right. It doesn't. But you could do, you should, so really, oh, I need to see what you've got, honestly. I need to see it. We're going to play some race maze while you get whatever you want and to send me sorted. If it's not something serious, it should be managed uh, by just food. See, that's the thing. So I did, a, okay, so this is why I think it is heartburn. So the the main times I've got it, one, one of the first times I was laid in bed and I was drinking a cup of tea and apparently like being sort of like laid back doing something like that can cause it. Um, So that's what I put it down to. The other two main times that I had it, I had in fact had a McDonald's. I had a McDonald's and um, about an hour and a half afterwards, I got it. And so that's that's why, because it's like, it's grease, like greasy things can agitate it. The other milder time is I had a peppermint tea and peppermint can relax that area and cause, uh, it can re relax your esophagus. And so it can cause that to happen. Um... So maybe uh, there's only been one time where I've been like, I don't understand why I'm getting this. So I don't know if it was food related. I am technically by if we're going by height and weight, I am classed as overweight uh, for my height, height and weight size. So I'm, I'm losing weight now. I'm actually doing a pretty good job. This is why it confused me because I hadn't really had anything. Well, mm, I'm lying a little bit. I did kind of on the sun on the Sunday. Yeah, on the Sunday, I did kind of have greasy food, but it was way after this. So for breakfast, we were we stayed on like the sun, whatever it's called, basically in London next to where Comic Con was. There's like a a a fully docked ship. Like the engine's been taken out. It's never moving. It's like fixed to the side of the dock now. Uh, so we stayed on there and we got breakfast included. So I decided to have a, like a full English. I didn't really like the bacon because the bacon was too salty and greasy. And this was like the first proper food I'd been eating for about a week. So I was like, yeah, I'll just have one rasher. I did have a sausage and I did have um, some, some mushrooms that did feel a little greasy. Uh, but I had a yogurt afterwards and I had a banana and then had probably like three to four hours between eating that and then getting it, which is why I was like, is it that? I think it's called acid reflux. Yes, but I don't, I, I believe it is. A heartburn is like, yeah, heartburns, I think it is acid reflux. And I know I get acid reflux in the morning, because that's why I can't, I can't anymore. I can't have like a cup of tea or anything like that in the morning anymore. It used to be no matter what, when I was growing up, I couldn't eat any breakfast stuff. Have you sent me stuff yet? Um, uh, Metapunks, I'm still waiting for you to send me whatever you, you're going to send me. Let me know if you're sending it to me on Discord or on uh, Twitter so I can have a look. Oh, the same, they are the same. Thank you. So I've never been able to eat like for the first hour or two hours of waking up. Like I just, I can't, it, may, it makes me feel sick. Um, and now I can't drink like tea or anything for a while after waking up. Uh, so yeah, the only difference is that acid reflux is more formal. Okay. But um, so I was a bit confused why... Like, it took about four hours, plus I'd been walking and been upright for a good sort of two hours after I'd eaten, so I'm not too sure what it was. I'm assuming it's acid reflux, and now I'm just acid reflux, heartburn, whatever, and now I'm just, 
like making sure to take Rennies more often. If an English person can't drink tea, there, there, there's probably a problem. I mean, I can drink tea later in the day. It's just I can't have it in the morning anymore. And I'm okay with that. That's fine. I don't mind having to wait until lunchtime to have a cup of tea. It's okay. I'll be fine. Bit courageous about my comments you can eat junk food if you exercise enough you can compensate the amount of unhealthy choices no that's right i get that and i so the thing is obviously as we age our metabolism changes when i was younger most of us like most of us um i had a pretty damn good metabolism when i had after i had my daughter my metabolism went to sh i'm not kidding you and people are like, oh yeah, you've you're aging. It's like, yeah, in nine months, my metab I've not aged enough for my metabolism to go from amazing to this shocking, honestly. Um, but I had I exercised. I was maintaining a healthy weight. It was only until lockdown. It was only until lockdown. The last sort of in the UK, the last sort of few months. I got a couple of different types of infections, including a water infection that caused me to bloat and gain a bit of a uh, bit of stuff. And then I did get a little lazy with my eating. When I returned back to work, when things opened up, I was getting the exercise, but I was continuing to not eat great. So my weight stayed like the same. And then when I stopped working, it was trying to creep up again. So I then had to become more active. So I was jogging um, a couple of times a week and uh, making sure I was doing the right amount of steps in a day, doing some sit-ups, doing like light exercises. Um, I'm not having apple vinegar. Don't make me. I've tried it before. No. AYZ, what do you do for you, like your heart? Like AYZ, explain what a, what heartburn feels like and where it's placed in your chest and how long does it last? And does walking in fresh air all of a sudden make it disappear? Because that is what concerned me the most. I thought I was going to collapse. I felt nauseous and I thought I was going to throw up. And as soon as I got off of the train and like walked a little bit because I saw where the toilets were and I was like beelining to the toilets because I thought I was going to throw up. I was beelining and all of a sudden I was just like, oh, the pain stopped. Okay, you sent on Twitter. Right, let's just have a quick look before I start this race. Okay, what are you trying to make? Okay, so control node, shaft. So you just want to move your shaft. You want to rotate your shaft. You don't want to rotate your control. Things should come off of the control. So you want to be rotating your shaft if your shaft is the main point and you want the pivot for your shaft. So basically you want your control node and then you want another node coming off of that called your shaft but no, but shouldn't have an asset attached to it but it should be your shaft. And then all the other pieces should be going uh, like off of the shaft and go and the center of pivot should be there also i'm hoping as well that for what you've created that you've done the four by four to create that shape or are they no they're all individual yeah they're all individual okay so what you want to do is you want to do i'm going to quickly show you this Create new assets. Uh, delete, delete, delete. Uh, round. Yep. Why not? So we got control node, and then we're gonna go um, shaft. One. Eight. Two. Okay. So what you wanna do? Not import. No. So this is going to be larger than what you're creating, but if I create, if this isn't going to be, by the way, this isn't going to be the right size. I already know this isn't going to be the right size. I'm just trying to give you an idea of what you're, you're going to try and create. 
You're gonna do this. Okay, you want it to be even, but you can do another one. You make sure the pivot is set to the center. And we wanna do that as well. And we are gonna go back. We are going to move this to number one. Okay, now the shaft node is right there. We're gonna want I'm gonna want it up. Okay. Then we are going to move this one to number two. I'm going to select number two. And we are going to rotate it like that. Now there's a little overlap on some of that. That's fine for now. Now, whenever you want to make it move, you can be like, wee, 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 wee. Get it? And started exercising half an hour a day when I had, now it's gone. So yeah, I've, up until the only time I ever experienced acid reflux heartburn, and we assumed that that's what it was, was when I was pregnant with my son and I legit thought there was a problem with my heart. Now it's a good job that I felt that way because that's how we found out that I had preeclampsia and then he was born six and a half weeks early. Uh, it's a little creamy baby, but I legit almost died and luckily that was a great trigger for finding out that I had preeclampsia. <laughs> um, there we go. Did I just, I just gave you guys a whole new skill. Whee! Now you've got that. So what you want to be doing is always, always good practice, always have a control node. Because let's say you want to make a few extra things to go along with this thing, you have it coming off of the control node. You should only have the control node coming off of the root. You then have the shaft, which is going to be the control for these pieces moving. Okay? We have the shaft that's the... I don't know why I'm, we're calling it the shaft, but sure, why not? And also, other good practice is always, 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 even if they are not moving themselves, close all of your keyframes. If there is movement, you close it. So you move the arrowhead to the very end of your animation. You go to this little diamond over here and you press it. They are now closed. You are welcome. There we go. Hopefully that helps. I really do hope that helps. Let me know if it helps. Um, so let's just have a look. Make sure... Don't want to move every piece again. Takes forever. Well, if you did it on shaft, it should be fine. You should be able to just move the shaft bit. Although you might... Do it, do it the way I showed you. Literally just do what I showed you. It should be fine. Uh, can cause nausea when I move, move in a moving vehicle and then throw up sensation for me as well. So this is... I get motion sickness. I have had motion sickness my entire life. Um, so I reckon it could have been both. Maybe. But yeah, I get motion sickness for sure. Uh, on any, anything. It's not like, like some people just get car sick. I get motion sick on anything and everything. Um, the only time I don't is on really, really good roller coasters. So if I'm on a boring ride, then I will get motion sick because it's boring. But anything that gets my adrenaline going up, I'm absolutely fine. Um, 
but yeah, I'm I'm definitely doing all of that. I've done really well. I did really well for my first my first week was like the first couple of days detox, so salads and soup, like cup of soup things, very limiting calories. And I slowly been building up, and it's actually really good because on the Saturday, um, like we did a ton of walking because we'd gone to London. But I did have like a heavier dinner than I normally would. We went to a place called Wagga Mama. It's in UK. Don't know if it's anywhere else in the world. Uh, just sort of like uh, Japanese food, but not not sushi. It's more like uh, ramen and noodle noodles. You could get some gyoza, um, some like yeah, some other bits and pieces. Although gyoza to me is always Korean. I think no gyoza's Japanese. Gyoza both? Oh. Uh, but yeah, so I got a katsu curry and so that was a lot heavier than most meals I've been having. But that was on the Saturday and I felt absolutely fine. Um, but also, you know, it's just about calorie deficit if you're trying to lose weight. So as long as, you know, you're keeping that exercise up and you have that calorie deficit, you should be fine. Um, and I and I was really good to like switch it back to normal since I got back home. So yesterday I had a very low calorie, healthy diet again. I like you know today I had a salad for lunch. I was feeling a little bit hungry before dinner, so I had just like a little bit of scrambled egg, uh, which sort of filled the void because I have been on a low calorie diet. So I was like, yeah, I can add some more calories. Oh, thank you. Yeah, no, he's, you would, like, looking at him now, you would have absolutely no idea. He, like, pulled it out of the park, and I was very fortunate because I very much wanted to breastfeed him, uh, not just because of the health benefits, but also, you know, it's free. Like, I'm producing it myself. It's free, and I like not spending money. So, I, and also, you don't really need to wash anything up, like, in terms of, you know, like, bottles and things like that. Um, because, you know, it's a, you know, me, I can wash myself. I would be washing myself anyway. Um, so don't need to wash bottles and stuff up. And he did very well while we were in the hospital. They did have me, we tube fed him for a little bit. So I was able to pump and we were able to tube feed him my milk instead of him having a uh, formula. And he did take very, very easily and quickly. When we lost, left the hospital, he was born just under four pounds. He was like three pounds something uh, when he was born. And when we left, he was four pounds and super tiny. And it was super scary. Just tiny. Uh, a rounded ball with 24-24 voxels fastly. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it wasn't perfectly rounded. I can make something look a little bit more rounded. It takes... A little bit more work. Question, uh, what can we expect from the coming update for Fox Edit? Oh! Uh, oh, okay. Has, wait. M. De De Vela, M. De Vela, uh, has anything been leaked about how soon the update is? Because if the update's soon, I will give you a tiny bean. I will give you a little, a little bean. I'll give you a little bean. Hey, Caratros. I'll give you a little bean. Right, let's do this. We have two minutes 13 is the time to be on this. By the way, guys, two minutes 13 is the time to be on this. You have no clue. Oh! Okay, well then I will give you two really insignificant beans. Okay, one insignificant bean. You know that really annoying issue with the camera, where the camera gets stuck and you have to forever press the the center thing again to get to get that centered? Yeah, they've they've done fixes to the camera. There you go. There's a tiny insignificant bean. The other tiny insignificant bean is animations will go up from 20 seconds to 30 seconds. Woo! There you go, there's your insignificant beans. No more beans! Alright, 2 minutes 13 was the best. 
but I have done. So let's go again. Oh, first time! What the frick? I haven't even been practicing. You see that? Are you guys seeing that? I'm waiting. I'm waiting. We're not ruining that. Come on. Come on, back down. Go, 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 go. Right, yeah. Go, go, go! Ah, go wait for it! Come on! Why are you taking your sweet ass time? Let's go! Go, let's go, let's go, let's go! Come on, pro! Pro Panda, Pro Ah, no! Stop! Come on, 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 come on! Ah! Oh, two minutes seventeen! Ah! Oh. Oh, two minutes seventeen. Not the best time, right? Let me go scroll it for all of this. Uh, you have no clue. Worth hey, you like guys that? We want shifts the leg back. Wait, what was? So we we have control. Wait, what does shift select do? They're very good beans, actually. They're not the best beans, let me tell you, because I got to test stuff and make a video ready to come out for you guys when it's time. Damn, sp damn Spanda is because I read Panda and Speed. Damn Panda is a speedrun pro, you know it. Yup, yup. So sprint and now so fast, gotta get good. Hey, 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 don't put Joseph in there. Joseph needs to get on my level. I've not seen him beat this. You you tell him. Say, Joseph, you need to beat Panda's time. Say, get good, Joseph. Put in oh, to select, oh yes, in Game Maker. We're just on about, sorry, it's because like, wait, what? Yeah, in Game Maker, we want that back. In Fox Edit, we didn't have that, so that's why I was really confused. Oh, little ice pilot. Yes, it's me. It's me. Haha. -ha. All right, let's do this again. Come on. Well, that was a great run. I'm not going to lie. That was great. There were some times. Sometimes it's about getting it timed perfectly for when things move. No, he beat me. He beat you. Panda running with wings. Yeah, fly, baby. Just built different. Oh. <coughs> Uh, Joe isn't spilling beans for a while, so Joe spills beans when there are beans to be spilt. I don't think he actually gets to know that much news about Vox. Oh, first time again! So I think that's why he doesn't spill that many beans. I try not to spill beans in case I get told off, because there are beans that I can spill, but I don't because I don't want to get told off. Right, come on. Come on, baby. Yes. One more. Down. Thank you. Down, 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 down. Oh, I missed it. No, I missed it.
I don't know if we can, if we can, if we can do better. Go, go, go! Go tell him. Uh, I've got to, I've got to just tell him. I've got, to, I've got to just tell them that they need to get good on my level. Just telling them to get good. Oh! You should celebrate with a giveaway! Oh, there we go, I didn't press it. There's the crowd cheering. We will celebrate with a giveaway soon. New record, I know, right? Just hit my Ella Park. Let's say, for a voxel expert, you're a hard hardcore gamer too. I am gamer first, no matter what. I was a gamer before all of this. I will be a gamer forever. <laughs> Let's restart. I don't think I'm going to beat it again. I really, really don't. I think two minutes ten might be, might be just the best that I can do. But we'll see. Because there were a few moments where I could have done it quicker. Do Optimally, and wonder how fast it can be. It won't count as beating me though, because it will be AI, but that would be fun to watch. Right, let's do. Let's do one more. Ah, I knew it wasn't gonna last. No. What am I doing? I did it really well! Okay. There we go! Thank you! This isn't optimized. Got away. I got away. Got to go. 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 Ah! No. Restart. Not best time. Too much messing about. There's too much messing about. See you on stream. Hey, I haven't seen one of my streams for a while. I've been here. I promise. 
The voxels got put in my place instead. I'm sorry, but Maddox. I'll be, we'll do, be doing voxels in a bit. Um... There we go, we're back in it, boys and girls. And everything in between. Go, 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 go! The thing is, it's more that I'm like super competitive, so I wanna like put. Why? Oh my gosh, I'd already done that! Restart. You enjoy watching my sweet runs? It's fine. I'm in the... Is it your Morsa Jude of Skulls? I am Jack of all trades, master of none, though, really. And did you just, like, the complete fail of I just ran that spit twice because I'm, I'm concentrating on you guys? No! Feel my love. Feel it. My love for you guys made it so I, I did it wrong. Nope. I was so excited as well about being back in the game. Nope. Is the queen who is also queen mother of voxels. I am, I am royalty. I'm doing the royal wave. Hello, my subjects. Hello. It's nice to meet you. Oh, close. Close, but no cigar. No! I'm pen short, mate. Frick's sake. How is everyone? Sparky, how are you doing, by the way? How are you, Sparky? And Maddox, I didn't even ask how Maddox was. Maddox, how are you? You wanna fix a bad day? Just log, log panda streaming and everything is better in one second. <gasps> that is like the kindest thing. Thank you, Sila. You're a sweetheart. You, you are now, now you have become my favorite voxel child. Until somebody else says something sweet and then they'll become my favorite. Always better for seeing you, friend. There we go. Now Ma Maddox is now my favorite voxel child. Damn it! Do you know what? This really cheered me up. I was having... Uh, my day started quite low stress and then it got quite high stress uh, about halfway through the day. So I was a little bit like, oh gosh, I've got a stream and I've got to be like happy and excited for people and entertaining. Uh, which was one reason I wanted to play these games, because, you know, they de-stress me. Uh, voxel art does also de-stress me, but I feel like I need to talk and explain a lot more things with that, rather than just enjoying the game. So, um, I'm actually really happy that, you know, this real proper cheered me up. Uh, every, 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 everybody's trying to become my favorite voxel, voxel child. You're all, you're all my favorite voxel children right now. You all get to be my favorite. Damn it! Oh. I lost the touch. There we go, I got it back. Right, come on, concentrate. Don't run it twice this time. Just be smart. Right, go through, go through, great. Now, you're just going up here. No! We can, we can bring this back. One, one death is fine, go. Go, great. I might have just timed this perfect. Damn it! No, too much. It was too much. Should've just waited. I'm from 91, quite old child. No, no, younger for me. Just, damn it. Tell me to get good, guys. There we go. I got good. I got good real quick. I knew you were going to be like, get good, and I, I did. I did it. Take the time to move with the music. 
I did it for you guys. For all my children. Come on. Nope. Okay, this is not going to be breaking records, but at least let's have fun with it. Ah! And do my usual jumps. Where I need to jump for no one. I'm hoping that this game is going to be in Alpha Season 3, so me, Joseph, and Alex can, can play this together again, and we can really, really see who the winner is. So I've got to practice that jump, so I get it down perfectly, because if Alex plays it his way, um, and I don't jump enough times, then he'll end up overtaking me. Whoops. Uh. Twenty. We knew it was going to be bad. Game won't change. Don't tell me that. Also, for anybody wondering about the how do you get the door down here to open? Whoops. Oh no, I've ruined it. Okay. Uh, restart. So I'll show you how to get the hidden door to open. I can't do my full cheater. Che cheater. My full. Uh, ah, I'm not timing it, so I can just do it. Oh, oh, come on. Oh. Maybe I do need to take a minute to just breathe. Okay, good. I'm trying. I'm trying, Mum. There we go. Right. Okay, so we're getting close to it. 12 times the charm, exactly. Well, I think I showed off too much near the start where I managed to do it for it, like, for first time. So I need to go this way. Oh wait, no, I could have done the full cheetah route. No, cheetah route, shortcut route. Never mind. So, the way to unlock the hidden door is, for anybody that didn't know, go up here and you just kind of touch, touch the bird. Go, hey bird.
Oh, I've missed it! Door's over here! I'm so silly, I just started playing the game. So you go here, and then you go, whee! You slide down the side, and here, here is uh, the the ducky god. Yeah, I could, I could ice pilot. I 100% could. I just kind of forgot where it was. From smallest to largest, I do not know. But okay. Uh, nice Easter egg. Yes. Why are those ducks important? So, okay. So it's not that the ducks are overly important. Sometimes we do contests around the ducks. Uh, it became a joke between the devs about like they were they were hiding ducks, ru the rubber ducks in the games for one another to see. And that's how anybody who's been in the main alpha hub and found the giant duck, which I think everybody knows where the giant duck is now, will understand. Um, that's I'm sorry, not understand. So there was a joke between the devs about if somebody could hide a giant duck in one of the games, and one of them did, and it's just become a thing really so it's not the ducks are important the ducks are just like a little easter egg within the games that started off as a joke for the devs and has evolved into you know more for the community the community enjoys them i actually quite like the the god duck and i like the the giant duck Did it just close the alpha hub on me? How rude. Will open. Wanted to show the duck. Uh, the duck. I know, right? How rude. But oh, full house. Yeah, I can't quite say it how she does it, but yeah. How rude. That's it. How rude. Like an emphasis on the rude. Why does it feel like there's a lot of people here? Wow! Why why is it bugging out? There's only 23 people here. Why is it not optimized? That's worrying. Right, anyway, let's go have a quick look. So this is where the giant duck is. This is the giant ducky. There it is. There's the giant duck. There is... Ah! I fell. But yeah, there's, there's the giant duck. I know now I'm not gonna... Oh, I did. No! Oh! 
There we go. I'm on the head. Where, where are we optimizers? Exactly. Optimizers. Forward, I'm sure, to your video on the update on Vox Edit. I'm sure you guys are. Also, I'm not so with the update to Vox Edit. I'm doing like the main features that I feel are important to mention rather than everything. But at least the main, main features. I went in here with sheer luck, looked away while I was still walking and ended up in here. That's awesome. Anyway. Let's close this when leave option game. Is there any of the Alpha Season 2 games that you wanted me to show show off a little bit? Did you want me to show off any of these? Not Dracula's Castle. Do you want me to show you any? How long have I been streaming, by the way? An hour 10. Okay, so in about 20 minutes I'll be going to break. You like my streams the most? That's so sweet of you. I think we will pop into Game Maker. Oh, why is nothing loading? The fun, fun guys. Do that first. Now, I'm not 100% sure if it will let me in that one because it's not a sandbox one, but we'll see. Uh, the giveaway today is for the weapon crate. So if you have already won the weapon crate, don't, don't enter. going to load that's the question the, this is created at the top it says right here it's created by touche i believe as well wayward helped design and create things within this game too so yeah it's pretty good pretty good so i wouldn't it's like it's more of a social hub than a, a game they have some fun stuff in the social hub though there's like obviously points of interest to visit um you know f like work your way around there's also like a little area that you can do like a race which is really trippy quite like that i don't think it's gonna load i'm not gonna lie this does not look like it's loading me in but i don't think i can go in his unfortunately But I know I've got a break coming up in a few minutes, but I am going to pop to the toilet. So if you guys have suggestions for games that you want me to play in the gallery, let me know and I will be right back. Oh, this is still giant me. There we go. I'll be right back.
Okay, I am back. Uh, uh, you'll watch my streams even if it may seem like simping, but I'm mostly interested in men. Honestly, you watching because you want to watch to me does not sound like simping. It sounds normal. I watch people because I like watching people. So don't you worry about brain game. Okay, page 26, brain game. Great. 26. Brain game. Where is the brain? Brain brain runner. This one. The brain game. Let's try it. Hey. Okay. Do. Okay. Not not so good. Press A and D to move and space to jump. Okay. I'm ready. Wait. What? Wait, what? Oh my gosh, no, 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 I'm missing numbers. Where, what, what is it? Seven minus something, add four, so four. What? I don't know. It's not right. I can't maths. Oh my gosh. Seven minus. Eight. No. Seven minus six. Six. That doesn't seem right. Is it? Oh, okay. Cool. Why? Why? No! Stop hurting me! Okay. Uh, three. No, it's not. I know it's not two. Oh, minus seven. Three times three. Give me the three. I hate this! But I went through the three. Was it not three? It's nine minus seven. No, that's not right. Oh my gosh! There we go. All right, well, is that meant to be divide? Is, is the two dots meant to be divide? That is not how you write divide. Jump! Friggin' jump! Why, why are these so hard? Okay, I need to get nine. So one, uh, nine, nine. Eight. It's gonna run for them all. This is a hard game. I can't do this many things at once. I know I need to work it out backwards, but I don't like it. And 10, okay, 10, 10, something. 10, 10, 10, add uh, with the two. Oh. Is it seven? I hate this game. Is it nine? Okay, nine, nine is nine, nine plus four is, is 13 times two is, uh, 20, 26. So minus eight doesn't equal that. So it's definitely not that. I think it's three, three, it's apparently not for four, this is 10, 10, 20, no, um, so five. Five is is the answer five? Give me the five eight sixteen. I'm pretty sure it's five. Not five. Is it not picking up all of them? Because sometimes it seems like oh I've got health, that's why. Is 
Is it not five? Is it three? This game's silly. Oh, because of Bodmus! Fuck's sake, yes, you do the times first! Because you times, and then do the rest! What? For fuck's sake! Answers one. Is it not one? I thought that the answer was one. How's the answer not one? Four times two is eight. This game's broken. The answer cannot be nine. Plus I've already touched nine so many times. Oh, of course it is. I'm just gonna touch them all. Can't play a game and do maths at the same time. So is that meant to equals five or is there more digits missing? Because that's annoying me. Because it says four minus and then just five. So am I meant to just like guess what's meant to be there after the times? Like I feel like this maths question's missing something. Is it? My head hurts. It's it's hard not to hit anything and do maths at the same time while being on camera, but it's very nicely made. Make the questions easier. But at least get them to go progressively hard from very easy. So I don't start off, so the user doesn't, the person doesn't start off stressed. But also thank you for reminding me that I do the times first because of Bodmus. I'm an idiot apparently. Do I need to get a new high score on Coin Rush? Rage quit. I did rage quit. I'm not. I'm not even sorry about it. I did.
I'm concentrating. Hey, that's the best amount I got. Hold down shift. I did have shift held down. Oh, whoops. Oh. I did have it held down. I had it held down. I promise you. Look. Eee. And then no shift. Shift. No shift. 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 No shift. Do one more. I went to this. Uh, oh wait, better time! Yay, ninety-two. Okay, cool. Right, that was that was great. Back to main. Uh, you don't have to play again, but you are one of the first who are able to get ramps working uh, without much trial and error with the Pipe Dream skate park. Oh, was I? Do you want me? Do you want me to play it again? To what? Do you know what page it was? Do you remember what page it was, Maddox? Well, I just checked this email. Right, one, guy, one second, guys. I got to just forward someone an email real quick. Uh, it's over 20 by now, over 20, okay, one second. Is it cold again? Pipe dreams. Oh, wait, give me, oh, yeah.
I got it. I found it. Right, let's go. So, are you saying that other people didn't quite do things properly? Like the, these pipe bits? Oh, I should have jumped. Ah, uh, I didn't jump soon enough. Breaking this game. I can see Alex trying to break this game too. coin was there. I missed the boot goop coin. Move the coin. Boop goops, boop goops indeed. I missed it. Ah, I messed it up. That was real good, though. Jump up onto that. I want the trophy. Why has he got a trophy next to him? Give me the trophy. I deserve it. I have worked hard. Broke it.
I did got good. I really can't wait for there to be music for these guys games because that's what we need. Anisty? I don't have any. I've been having um ginger ginger and lemon tea. Because ginger's also meant to be really good for things like heartburn and stuff. What's down here? Oh my gosh! What? What? No, I'm stuck. Okay, did not notice that before. Oh, back down. Okay. All right, look, there's an, a ladder. Don't go, don't go in waterfall. Don't, why? Real broken part, but I got out fine. Look. Fine. What's broken? Where's the broken bit? Where's the broken bit? The middle of the waterfall, okay. Like this waterfall or this waterfall? Oh yeah, look! Ha! Look at that! I shouldn't have done that! <laughs> you need to fix that! You need to put a block there! Or, like, something to stand on. <laughs> oh, don't be mad. I'm sorry. Oh, that was great. I love it. Thanks. You've already improved it. Lovely. Lovely. We found it after cut-off entry. That's fine. <gasps> oh, I've just been tagged into something. I've got to listen to this. Sorry, guys. You're going to hear it, but I'm going to listen. That again. <laughs> <laughs> Are you recording? Yes. Hey, Panda Pops. Oh! I learned a lot from you, and I never miss a single live stream. Even if I do, I rewatch it within the wads and no sandbox YouTube channel. Keep up your great work. Thank you for everything. Oh, that's so sweet. A big fan in Turkey, and he's like, oh, he gets a follow from me. This person gets a follow from me. Ah, oh, that's adorable. That's proper made my day. Oh. <laughs> Oh. I'm gonna butcher his name. This is why I feel bad. But like, if you he said that he rewatches the so dude. If you're rewatching this, uh, I'm gonna butcher your name. So I'm ever so sorry. But hi, Bar Baru, Bar Bara 
Uzukano Cole. I am so sorry. I said I'm no, I said your name so wrong. But thank you ever so much. This is so sweet. Bought someone famous? No, it's just like this is so sweet. This is so nice. This is so nice. Oh. Oh, someone made a Parara game jam. Let's let's have a look to see what people are making. Yes, and then I probably should really teach you guys some stuff after the break. So we'll. In fact, I already taught you some Vox Edit. I taught you some Vox Edits earlier. How to make the thingy, the round thingy. Are you gonna load? I, mean, I don't like it when this happens. Load, please. Oh, you're gonna crash. It's gonna crash instead. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. With that, let's try again. I don't know his name. <laughs> what his name is, but you 100% butchered it. Well, yeah, yeah, I, I did. I, I know I did. Yes, there you go, YZ. That person. The way I say that person's name is the person's name. Because they were tagged in it, and that is their name. If you can write his name, I'd be able to support. Oh, support me with. Okay, so it's like bot, bora. I um, like B O R A, and then there's like a, a gap. Like if I go to a thing, so it's like bora, but or bora. But there you go. Uzenkol. 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 Is it like, like bor bora, bor bora, 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 bora sounds right? Is it bora? We're gonna get the first part right. This is gonna be the whole whole stream. How to say vora, vora? So I don't pronounce the b. I say vora. Really? So it's not bor like bora, bora. It, it, it is literally it is how how a y z spelt it is what is here. That's that's how it is how a y z wrote it. Begins with a b, but do I not pronounce the b? Okay, gliders are fun. Oh gosh, where it's a uh, fly with me. Okay, so do I need to? No, okay. I, I, I legit, I should probably get my own weapons. Might make sense. Let's use a uh, Blaze Games weapon because I think that's really cool. Well, Panda pronouncing names or Panda doing maths. Shush. Don't be mean. It's hard to concentrate on doing the maths. Am I meant to jump on these? Oh gosh, are they... Is it meant to be like a quick jump? No. Oh, now I'm in the water. Okay, I don't like it. And as it is, no additions or subtractions. Okay, so... So Bora... Bora Uzenkol. Is uncool. The so bora, bora. Is it bora or bora? Bora. Give up so easily. It was an annoying game. Shush. I mean, I'm sure it's fine. Is anybody else? Here we go. We got another. We got another poro one. Let's see what this person did. Okay. okay. Forest flowers. I gotta I gotta find for oh there's a forest flower. Nice and easy. This is definitely family fun and friendly. Adventure jet. Dragon egg. Okay, adventurer jet wants me to find a dragon egg. Of course he does. Racing flag? Go find the end of the maze. Run! I don't know where the maze is! What? 
This is stressful. I gotta, I gotta find the end of the maze. I'm guessing it's all the way to the other side of the map. It must be. Minerals. Okay, I don't see any other flags. I do see you. Okay. I've accepted a lot of quests. Okay, he's an enemy, cool. Gonna be an enemy. This there oh the undergroundness. Oh you can't actually go in there. Okay, in which case this seems a bit weird having this look like this. Unless they're gonna update it. Also now I'm stuck. Unless I can oh I can go in the water. Nope, now I'm stuck down here. So they've they've not made a way to get out of this this area. So I'm going to give up. You need to make a way out of that area, whoever has it. Bora, I think is right. Okay. Bora, Uzan Cole, thank you ever so much for your lovely, lovely words. Once again, I am still sorry if I'm saying your name wrong. Uh, we've gone, we've gone, as you can see, we've gone for a lot of stuff to try and say your name correctly. <laughs> Hey, Eagle Steven. We're going to do one more. One more game. Oh, wait, no, go back. What was that one? This. This looks kind of cool. Oh, yeah. All right. Bora. Bora, yeah. Okay. Then, oh. Second. Uzen. Uzen. Not Uzen. U. Bora Uzen call. Okay. Borrow Uzen Cult. There we go. I say it right. I think it's correct. I'm saying it right. We're fine. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. Okay, this, I've got a pretty high quality computer, and this game looks like it's struggling with optimization. Just a little bit. I'm not gonna lie, it does kind of look like it's 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 lagging a little. It's very jiffly. Pretty sure we don't want jiffliness. So I just get okay. She can wear a pan on her head. No. Oh gosh, why is why is he trying to fight me already? Give myself a sword. Oh, it won't let me have custom swords. Okay, the coins dropped, so I've got to follow the coins. So what this could be is there could be a bunch of assets with far too many nodes in this world. Or there could be a lot of stuff going on that is just a bit much. So I'm just going to try and have a look at where optimization could be made. Now, static assets actually don't worry too much about the node count. So these bars on the windows and stuff, they will actually translate within GameMaker as having like one node uh, because it's static. If there's different iterations of it, so different statics, then it will show all the nodes. Uh, but as long as like it like the only thing is just idle and there's no movement, then it will just count it as one. But they definitely I like the world. The world is great. I like how how packed the world is. I'm just thinking where can we be optimizing a little 
with some of the things because you know it is lagging a little bit and i'm gonna say it's not lagging because of my computer that's all i'm gonna say to that Hmm. The thing is, I like the world a lot, so I really don't know. Maybe less birds? Less birds might help? Maybe a few less of the grates over the windows, because that will be pushing the faces up, and I think you could get away with a few less of those on there. See, even the, uh, uh, the aerials here, these bits, I like them. I like them there. I like that there's a lot of them. Ah! That shook me. Maybe potentially just a little less is what I would say. Oh my gosh! Ah, oh, they glitched through the wall. Do you still believe in crypto games? 100% yes! Definitely. Do you not, Styler PU? It's lagging a lot and my PC is pretty buffed. Yeah, I was gonna say mine's mine's pretty buffed too. Am I meant to be fighting these guys? Okay, don't know if I was meant to do that. Probably not. But yes, I do still believe in crypto games. Oh gosh, there's so many of them! There we go. Yay! Okay, what am I doing now? The thing is, I'm confused why it's lagging so badly, because it doesn't look like it's overly not optimised, that's the thing. Like, I think it might just be all of the grates outside. I think that's what it might be, all of like the grates and stuff. Maybe a few too many of these baskets, maybe get rid of a couple of those, because they've got a fair few faces on them. Oh gosh. A lot going on right here. They shouldn't have just jumped down. 
me 15 coins to buy a lollipop. Dude, why? Why is there so many? Oh my gosh, there's bugs everywhere. Why is there so many thugs? Why isn't anybody else helping to fight? No, be gone. Oh, come here. Going down. You okay now? Okay. Hey, this is clearly a custom building put here. So what I would suggest is if that door is part of the custom building to make it flush against the building instead of pivoting it in. Um, these look like they're separate assets, so it might be fine. I really would just some of the grates and stuff. I just take some of those off. I bet it'll be all right. Totally lost. So many little hidden bits. I'm now lost. Where am I? Okay, I'm here. Oh, not fighting you today, mate. Right way to go. I don't know where to go. I actually think I was meant to go the other way. Oh, no, there's a thing here. Let me up. Yay, what have I got? I have a, a stick now. Who doesn't want a stick? Why is this a point? I've done it. Okay. Nope. I apparently don't know parkour. I'm bad at games now. I'm so good at games. There we go. Oh. Right, let's see. The game you are playing isn't it's not lagging for you. Market goes down for a little while and people start to think innovation is just going away. Right, so the, this is the thing though. People think, oh no, the market's going down. The market over everything went down. Like literally traditional finance market went down. I think it went up a little bit today, I believe. But, you know, for the past few weeks or so, the normal market's gone down. Uh, which is why I bought a little bit more for my S&P 500, plus I got my dividends and stuff like that. But yeah, I think, let's see, let's see. I think the market's, oh, okay, so it, it went up and it's gone down a little bit. So today, uh, today it started at, okay, so overall, the market went down total for me for today over what I bought, but then I did also buy in, so my profit margin would have gone down anyway. Uh, because I bought in, but right before I bought in, I was up 10%. Now I'm up 9.8% overall on my portfolio for traditional markets. Yeah, all, all markets have been a little bearish. 
Whether we're in a bear market or not is totally a different different thing, but yes. Oh gosh, big fella. Hello, big fella. Oh, I did it. Yay! I won. Anyway, uh, how we can play with you. You can't on that one, unfortunately. Game looks great. I really appreciate the effort put forward. Even if the sandbox isn't at a level where it handle all the graphics, this is still really well done. Bravo to the artist. I agree. I thought it was an, a really, really good world, which is why when it was lagging out, and I assume it was doing that for optimization reasons on my end, um, or at least right near the start it was, it seemed to be getting better further on. So I don't know whether because there's like a lot of challenges that hadn't gone through yet. I'm, I'm not too sure. But um, I, th I thought it was very well done. I think the only way that you could be like, okay, I can lower it for optimization reasons would be maybe to get rid of some of the greats to reduce the amount of total faces. I have been told that although faces are important for optimization, so not too many faces on assets is important for game optimization. It's not as important as the node amount it's recently come out that the amount of nodes greatly affects the game optimization more than the faces so even though we do still suggest 5k faces and we will have 5k maximum faces maximum not a goal just the maximum it's definitely not a goal um we will be will be keeping the 5k for all of those contests, but we will be introducing a 120 node maximum, obviously not a goal, 120 node maximum for these contests from July onwards because we've already done all the forms and done all the details for everything happening in uh, this month. But from July onwards, 120 nodes maximum. So, okay, so I will try, I'll tr try the one AYZ is on about, but I am going to take a quick uh, five minute break. So I will be taking my quick five to ten minute break. Uh, do -do -do, gotta get my stuff up where you'll get to watch a nice little VOD. I will, I will change it to add newer stuff for the VOD. Uh, so, it's a little, so it's a little bit different each time, but this time you got the same usual one. Community is furious. Right. Bravo. Honestly, you cannot be mad at the sandbox over this because it is not on the sandbox. We have now got the results back. A video for the winners is being created and an announcement on Saturday will be made. Okay. Per expert. No, 120 nodes per asset for the, for the asset contest. I don't deal with game, game jam contests at all. This is for just assets for Vox Edit, 120 node per asset, okay? Um, but Bravo, if they're mad, they can direct that annoyance somewhere else because I can assure you it is not to be directed towards... Oh, I'm going to put this out here. I did all the vote collecting. I put out the voting forms. I went through every single asset that was submitted. I put together the voting forms. I sent out the voting forms. I sent out reminders for the voting forms. I collected the results of the voting forms. And then I needed to wait because, you know, their team wanted to select the top three, which is absolutely fine. In fact, that happens a lot of times for these partner ones that the partners will in fact select first to third place, okay? But they also sometimes want to make sure that the assets that are the winners are what they sign off on because it is a contest for them, for their IP. So that is what we've been waiting on. Now, you got to remember that their team is also incredibly busy. They don't just sit around, twiddle their thumbs. If the community is mad about how long it's been, I am sorry. I am, but it is not on me. Not at all. No, he didn't spend... No, no, no. No, in all fairness, in all fairness, he didn't spend that long selecting three. We had the three. 
No, no, sorry. We had the four. We we had to give them the six. They had to sign off on the six. So we were a week late before receiving their four. Um, then I believe we had a bank holiday. So I spent the bank holiday or whenever it was. I was back in on Tuesday and I did the work and I was like, here's, here's the other ones from our side of voting. These are them. And they needed to sign off. So they're busy, but yeah. Honestly, Bravo, it is it is not on Sandbox. We were prepared. We got we did it as fast as we could. And in all fairness, I don't really think the blame should be solely on them as well because they're busy. They're busy doing stuff. The guy himself is a busy person. So people are busy. Am I sorry that there's been a delay? Yes. Have I been working very hard to run up to double check? Hey, do you have these? Hey, has this been signed off on? Hey, this, that, or the other? Yes. And has their team been responsive back to me to say, hey, we're sorry about the delay. We should have it by this date. Yes, they have. So on both ends, we've been very responsive and talking to one another. Is, has there been a delay? Yes. Will you find out the results on Saturday? Yes. The results will be, and I can assure you because the video for the results has been put together. I saw it today. The result video is ready and you will have the results on Saturday. On Saturday. So honestly, Bravo, I get it. Because, you know, there has been, I, and everybody else, I get, like, there will be delays sometimes to contests. I'm working very hard to make sure those delays are at a minimum, an absolute minimum for those delays. Um, but this has become a meme on, on the official server. I mean, the thing is, though, I'm not on the official server for them, so I don't know what's a meme or not. So when someone says, hey, it's taken the guy like this long to select, like, I don't know whether that's a dig at him or a dig at me or a dig at Sandbox or a dig at their team. I can't, I can't know that. So I'm just telling you and you can tell everybody else, there's been communication back and forth, plenty of communication. There has been a delay. It hasn't been on my part. Put it there. Not been on my part. Been pushing this. And been trying not to push it to the point that it would seem like I'm irritating people as well. <laughs> uh, wish that would be true. I like the, uh, that kind of relaxed team. Roger that, boss. <laughs> also, also, I'm not mad at Bravo. I'm just saying, like, this is this is what has happened. So don't don't be mad at Bravo's NFTs because I'm not I'm not mad at Bravo for bringing it up, and I get it because it is annoying. I if I was in a position where I had entered a contest and I was waiting such a long time to hear the results, um, yeah, I would also be irritated. Um and bring it up at times and stuff. So I get it. The stream will self-destruct in T minus five minutes. <sighs> but yeah, it's it's absolutely fine. <laughs> oh, shows they have to or organize some role. Yeah, I mean, especially, and you, you gotta understand as well, like if it it's his IP, you know, if he wants, if he wants the winners to be to represent his IP for his contest, like we gotta kind of respect that and respect his time. He's a busy person. Um, long time equals quality judging. The I gotta say, the assets are spectacular. They really um a lot of the assets were fantastic. I um yeah, I was very, very impressed by some of the quality. In fact, I'm always very impressed by the quality of what you guys create, for sure. Um, don't tell me what I can or can't be, Dad. <laughs> oh, AYZ and Maddox having 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 a little having a little fight. Okay, I'll leave you guys to it. But yeah, that's 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 the reason. So obviously, time. I've been running it up, so I just want to make it very 
very known that, you know, we have been on the ball, that I aim for there not to be this many delays, and I know there's been delays. What contest? The Dead Mouse contest, which was quite some time ago. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I believe the results... I was a bit worried because I felt like the results were meant to be a little... Okay, that's not... That's not too bad. Wait, wait, let me... Let me get this up. The results were meant to be... Okay, yeah, so the results... Results are going to be free. So the results were meant to be on the 15th of May. Okay, for some reason I thought it was longer than that, honestly. Okay, and so technically they were two weeks late because we do have the final results now. But I have been told we are not publicizing those results until the Saturday. So it is three weeks late. I actually don't think that's that bad. I was worried that it was longer. I legit thought it was over a month. I'm not going to be... I'm not, I'm not joking, and that's just because obviously when we put the votings and stuff out, but I was thinking back to then. So actually, it's not that bad. It's not that bad at all. Star Faction? No, we're on about the Dead Mouse one. No, AYZ, what are you on about? Don't ever do that. Don't ever do that. I think uh, at whoever is... <laughs> kind of, it's a hard time. I mean, I, f I, f I feel that they are joking to some extent. I feel like they're having a bit of banter. Announcement May 7th, really? Because I'm looking... Is that what it says on that? Because I'm looking at our official thing where it says May 15th on our official thing. Uh, May f oh, sorry, May 14th. So I'm looking at our Dead Mouse 5 results. Oh, look at that. Results. Oh, okay. Okay, so it is a bit... We we pushed it forward. I believe we pushed it forward uh, a week because we knew there was going to be a delay. But that was never updated on, on the medium. Okay, so I believe we did make an official announcement that it was going to be delayed a week. Yeah, that, that seems about... Yeah. Uh, okay, so yeah, it's a little, it was a little while, but busy, busy people are busy. Just remember that busy people are busy. As long as we can all have a laugh about it, and and I am not mad at Bravo at all. But also, can't you guys see the restreamy thing? You can't. Where's my restream? There it is. It's not big enough. Do you do you want me to make it? There we go. Now you guys can see it. Enjoy your break. Thanks, bro. <laughs> and I'm not... There's no, there's no hard feelings at all. None. None. There's, there's only love. There's only love. But it can probably sound different coming from my British self that have a very, 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 very dry sense of humour uh, where I can sound angry and agitated, but I'm not. I will tell you if I'm angry. I will start the sentence as, I'm pretty pissed off now. Uh, that's how you'll tell that I'm angry. Otherwise, it's all love. It's all love. Hi. Right. Anyway, I'm having my break. I'm doing it. Oh, gosh, that must have blown your ears out. Let's turn that down a little bit. Sorry, guys. Right, I'm having my break. I'll be back in five to ten minutes. And, yeah, unless you are from YouTube and we <laughs> we have all the feels. <laughs> YouTube's fine. I make videos for YouTube. Fight while she's gone. I'll... I'll still be able to see the computer to some extent other than when I go to the toilet. Oh, be good. All right. See you soon. Y'all ready for the sandbox game? Climbing up the blockchain. We be hitting like it's... Hello everyone and welcome back to another Panda Pops Quick Tips. For today's quick tip, I'm going to show you how you can unlock a template so you can play about with the animation and add to the skeleton. All you need to do is open up your chosen template, save it, then head back to the animator, create new assets, 
name it whatever you need to name it and then off of the root over here we do import hierarchy find find that original one you saved and there we go we've got all the animations open and we can now add child nodes and all of this down on the skeleton here is a panda tip for you guys within Vox Edit Animation. Many of you are wondering how you can go about hiding and making things just appear, much like this bit of smoke right here. So we're going to select just this one in particular. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want your item hidden inside the main asset. So I've got it hidden in the fireplace. You can't see it, can't see it from underneath, can't hit, see it from the side and we move our arrowhead right up until the point that we want it to appear. We press this and then the very next, the very next frame, we all of a sudden jump it to where we want it to be. Then we do our animation of it going up and it's, it's going up and up until it reaches the top point that we want it to reach and then single keyframe and it's right back down here. Hopefully this has helped you guys understand a little bit of how to make something appear and disappear instantly within Vox Edit Animator. Hope you guys enjoyed Panda Pop's Vox Edit Quick Tips. Y'all ready for the sandbox game? Climbing up the blockchain. We be hitting like it. We be hitting like it. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another Panda Pops Quick Tips. For today's quick tip, I'm going to show you how you can unlock a template so you can play about with the animation and add to the skeleton. All you need to do is open up your chosen template, save it, then head back to the animator, create new assets, name it whatever you need to name it, and then off of the root over here, we do import hierarchy, find Find that original one you saved and there we go we've got all the animations open and we can now add child nodes and all of this down on the skeleton here is a panda tip for you guys within vox edit animation many of you are wondering how you can go about hiding and making things just appear much like this bit of smoke right here so we're going to select just this one in particular so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want your item hidden inside the main asset. So I've got it hidden in the fireplace. You can't see it, can't see it from underneath, can't hit, see it from the side. And we move our arrowhead right up until the point that we want it to appear. We press this and then the very next, the very next frame, we all of a sudden jump it to where we want it to be. Then we do our animation of it going up and it's, it's going up and up until it reaches the top point that we want it to reach and then single keyframe and it's right back down here. Hopefully this has helped you guys understand a little bit of how to make something appear and disappear instantly within Vox Edit Animator. Hope you guys enjoyed Panda Pop's Vox Edit Quick Tips.
Y'all ready for the sandbox game? Climbing up the blockchain. We be hitting like it. We be hitting like it. Hello everyone and welcome back to another Panda Pops Quick Tips. For today's quick tip, I'm going to show you how you can unlock a template so you can play about with the animation and add to the skeleton. All you need to do is open up your chosen template, save it, then head back to the animator, create new assets, name it whatever you need to name it, and then off of the root over here, we do import hierarchy, find Find that original one you saved and there we go. We've got all the animations open and we can now add child nodes and all of this down on the skeleton. Here is a panda tip for you guys within Vox Edit Animation. Many of you are wondering how you can go about hiding and making things just appear, much like this bit of smoke right here. So we're going to select just this one in particular. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want your item hidden inside the main asset. So I've got it hidden in the fireplace. You can't see it, can't see it from underneath, can't hit, see it from the side. And we move our arrow head right up until the point that we want it to appear. We press this and then the very next, the very next frame, we all of a sudden jump it to where we want it to be. Then we do our animation of it going up and it's, it's going up and up until it reaches the top point that we want it to reach and then single keyframe and it's right back down here. Hopefully this has helped you guys understand a little bit of how to make something appear and disappear instantly within Vox Edit Animator. Hope you guys enjoyed Panda Pop's Vox Edit Quick Tips. Y'all ready for the sandbox game? Climbing up the blockchain. We be hitting like it. We be hitting like it. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another Panda Pops Quick Tips. For today's quick tip, I'm going to show you how you can unlock a template so you can play about with the animation and add to the skeleton. All you need to do is open up your chosen template, save it, then head back to the animator, create new assets, name it whatever you need to name it, and then off of the root over here, we do import hierarchy, find... find Yo, I'm back! Sorry, I was way longer than I had planned. Um, I went to put my retainers back in. So I got the clear ones, they're called, at least here, they're called Essex retainers. When I had my uppers done as a teen, I had, I think they're called like Halsey, Housley, where it's, uh, it does a mold. So you get like a plastic thing that pushes into the back with wires go around the back of your teeth and then a wire that goes around the front. These are just like, like plastic mouth guards, basically, that are made to like perfectly to mold your teeth. Also, if anybody is interested to actually see the mold of my teeth that was made after everything, then let me know because I have them. And what did I miss? Uh, and I sound like a... Th oh no, why? AYZ, what? Oh. 
Lol, who's fighting Panda? Oh, he was. He's just like, <laughs> oh, yeah. No, no one's fighting me. It's all love. It's fine. It's fine. It's all love. I told you. It's all love. Wait five years, then put them on eBay. I mean, I kind of would like to say, hey, that sounds stupid, but it kind of doesn't, honestly. Wait, my retainers? My retainers are for life. You gotta wear, if you ever have braces, retainers are for life because your teeth will constantly move. So this is a good, really good way, especially once, like, you know, you know your wisdom teeth are through um, and stuff, then, you know, you don't have to worry about your wisdom teeth moving your teeth because that can't be helped. Uh, anyway, what game was I meant to play? Was it on page six? I can't remember. Was there a game on page six? This one, Stank Pirates and Baby Unicorns. Okay. But yeah, does anybody... Because it's right right behind my green screen, so it'll take me a moment to go to go fetch it. And I don't think I missed anything else. And no, nobody... I don't think anybody had a fight while I was gone, so that's good. Oh, and do you know what we have? What we have for... Get your fire extinguisher for what? Why am I getting the fire extinguisher for? Um, but we will be having what's that? What's that? What do I hear? A giveaway! Woo! All right, giveaway, 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 giveaway. Cause you guys have been amazing. You guys have been amazing. So we're gonna do a giveaway. This map is super laggy. Oh. Great, I'm glad you want me to play a game that's super laggy, but also I don't care that you guys haven't said, hey, show us the mould of your teeth. I'm going to show you because I'm weird and I kind of want to now that I brought it up. I told you it was only behind me. So... These are my top teeth, and these are my bottom teeth. I've had them together. But these are my teeth. Hello, my name's Panda. How can I help you today? Ha 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 ha. Nom nom nom. Nom 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 nom. It's blue. It's not. It's white. It's the green screen and the color correction stuff. But it is. It is actually white. It's not blue. Nom. No. 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 Oh, this, this is this is uh, after braces. So this is what they use. They did the molds of my teeth after they took the braces off. So they could make my clear retainers that you can't really see I'm wearing. So that's really cool. But I can't eat or I can only drink like water with these in. But I can't eat anything with these in. Um, but they they did, did the molds of my teeth. And then I had to take these to, to the lab. But we'll make the retainers through the molds. And then they make, they make these. Nom nom nom. Really, I come here for the unique content. <laughs> it's not that I want you to play it. I want you want to know why it's laggy so I can have oh, okay, okay, yeah. They seem alright. I want that. You want you want these? Hello, my name. So we're gonna take a look at this this game that um I'm being told by AYZ is super super laggy. And I will give you tips and tricks on how we can make this not not happen for your games so we can optimize them. We can probably take a look at some of the assets that people have made so I can give you optimization tips on your assets too. I won't be comfortable to share my teeth with the whole web. You're so brave. But these, but I smile. So you're just seeing... Like, it's just a mold of my teeth. They're not my real teeth. Like, my real teeth are in my mouth. You see? Da -da. These, are, these are a mold. Look. It's like looking at a twin. Hello. 
a little okay i'm just really weird but anyway can we have an nft of those teeth i feel like maybe i should like i'll take a really good picture or something and i'll i'll mint the picture i'll make it like a you know five five copies weird is fun weird is fun we love weird I kind of want to spray paint them because at the minute they're just that usual um, like chalky material. So I want to spray paint them, make them last. Great teeth, thanks. Perfect copy. Yeah, pretty much a perfect copy. All right, what have I missed? I've what is talking about the voxel teeth. The voxel teeth are gone now. Tie dye voxel teeth. I'm not tie dyeing them. Oh, oh, no, no. Okay, so far, oh, this. The, okay, few tips. This is horrible. Have they put rocks on top of rocks? We got Z fighting happening right there. Let's, let's not make that mistake. Yep, so when they created it, they got Z fighting. I'm, oh, they got Z fighting everywhere. Like literally everywhere. That is horrible. I'm guessing they're different rocks that they're placing on top of each other and that it's not one asset. Um. This is a bit much. I don't know what I did, but my teeth are hurting now. I don't know whether it's because I put this on. But this is all just a little bit much. Okay, Z fighting. I can explain what Z fighting is. So you see how both of these are like fight, you're getting like that weird look on them. And it's because the colors on one are fighting to be seen over the colors of the other one. That's Z fighting. So, did I put this on right? I'm gonna take a drink of water maybe. It was fine a moment ago. Yeah, if you bring it a touch closer, it does go away. But I'm also trying to figure out... No, because they've done it... It's everywhere. Their Z fighting is everywhere. Okay. So, so there's these rock issues. Now, I really do feel like they've just made a couple of rocks. And it's multi like they've just placed it multiple times. You're better off actually making a big area. Like you have different sized ones. So what you can do is you could do like a few small ones and a few bigger ones. Look, we got it, we got it everywhere. We got it happening up here as well. Like right where I'm standing. But honestly, if you if you wanna make the world oh for frig's sake. If you wanna make a world where, where you want to make the rocks have more definition to them, okay? You want to be doing it in, like, so you've got different sizes. You've got large ones, you've got small ones. So if you want to cover an entire wall, like over here, you place your large ones down. If you want to do a small area, you place your small ones down. And you optimize it for those different sizes. The grass has collisions on it. Turn collisions off of your grass. Because that's crazy. And once again, like the, the use of all this grass on the wall, if you really want to do something like this, 
make one big asset and like because this is a lot of faces this grass is a lot of faces do you want to do something like this this is my suggestion okay This is my suggestion. Okay. You're going to get a big section and you're going to start coloring it in sections. Now, this is going to be super rough, okay? You are going to work this out for yourselves, okay? But this is what I suggest, okay? Now, you could potentially do a couple where they stick out just a little bit more just make sure that they're, they're straight ones you have them all sticking out a little bit like that or what you could do is you could have a couple like this potentially i don't like the idea like that um i would go actually we would do the whole of this so we'll flood all of this in the darkest green that we got and then the lighter ones. Actually, no, I'm going to flood it in this one, which is the second darkest one. I'm going to go for some of these. I'm going to dot around everywhere, dot, dot, dot. You'll work it all out yourself. And you'll add some other shades to that. Okay. Corners here, yeah, dot, 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 coloring it in, it's looking lovely. Some other colors going on around here too. Are they the same colors? They're very similar. Let's go. Dot, color, that's that color. Get the darker ones, and we're going to have those go in between certain other shades. Just sparingly dotted around. And you'll do that over the entire thing. Okay, and you'll make it look like grass. This doesn't look very much like grass. Dot, dot, dot. I like that aspect of Vox Edit. Dot, dot, dot. Voila! Voila! Okay, we've got a few areas around here, so we'll fill that in. So you'll probably want to do a lot more like this really giving it a good color i like on big things i do like to use the pen tool and things like this i'll use the pen tool have little bits like that but it's almost coloring all of it and then we'll just add little other bits to the areas. You darker areas into some of this. That's a little bit too much there. So it ends up looking like that. Yeah, yes, you can do that as well, M. De Vela. You can also import a grass texture PNG file in Magicka Voxel, then export that as a Vox file and import it into Vox Edit to get a natural looking texture or do it yourself for a different style. Mossy than grass. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it, it's quick. It's quick. It's quick. That's too many assets, too many coals cuts. Yes, it is. It is far too many. But this is generally like this kind of idea. And if we go out and we put it there, you know, you got the general idea of that it's it's covering the wall. It's it's grassy. Or you just make a terrain block. A terrain block that is like that would be much better 
than this and a bird just flew through there's there's too many the, these are all adding up as faces and the rocks inside that are doing like nothing for the environment like these yeah i kind of get that but no more more grass again oh that's why they okay so they use the grass so you couldn't cut through in that case make it something different because it's annoying that there's grass there but i can't cut through or i could have yeah no now i'm stuck And more more grass more random cats that don't uh another bit of rock but serving the oh is there something there i think there's something there there's like a broken bit in this game i could also jump over here Well, so I can skip a, like a big chunk of the world. You might want to stop me from doing that, most likely. Just ignore these. Do I want the mushrooms? Let's see what the mushrooms have for. Oh, we can't get the mushrooms. And again, more like these are better. These are better. I'm sure they still have Z fighting, but those sizes a little bit better could do with maybe a few less faces but then we've got the stupid thing happening over here again he he meant to be fighting me i think he yeah too much of this grass just everywhere Dude, stop following me. These little weird imps. Uh, and I've died. There's no additional spawn or health areas which you would want to put in a game. I would suggest if there's a lot of enemies, you want to put somewhere for you to heal. These ske skeletons need to have no collisions on them. Because that's ridiculous. Half of this is annoying to play on. Yeah, there's just there's just too much grass like this. Z fighting on the rocks once again. This is like I like the effect that they're going for, but they could have probably optimized it differently. It's just it's just a lot. Honestly, there's just there's just so much going on. The game itself isn't bad. They need to stop you being able to jump over certain sections. For sure. Weird trees. Wait. Oh, the trees did have collisions. Alright, we've got some dinos. Being pretty mad at me. Doesn't seem to be any quests other than just sort of go around here do this do that like there to actually be a point oh we got f flying gorillas okay am i meant to get up there am i meant to jump on the flying gorillas i don't know and then we're we're in the cool this is fine unicorns are fine this is all fine unicorns are fine this is cute. I like that. That's actually really creative. Brass needs to have the collision standoff in these areas. But yeah. Oh, is there treasure? I meant to go get I'll go get the ancient treasure. Oh, it's fine. Oh, okay. I can't do anything with the ancient treasure. Yeah, having quests on your game is absolutely fine. 
and sit, but it's seriously, it's all these rocks and all the grass. Wait, do better. But, okay, but I, ah, oh, I feel like I need to say things while I liked. I did like the idea of them putting, like, rocks to give better texture to the world. I did like that. Okay. Um, trying to defeat the, the enemies. Yep, yeah, that's absolutely great. Like that. It's, it's a good world map. They've designed the map nicely. There are areas that I can skip. So if you don't want players to skip areas, then make it so they can't. No, no, I know that whoever's made it is probably not here, but I feel like I'm, I'm going to give my feedback for what I liked. So much grass. There was so much grass. Yeah, so much. I've got to just check this thing out with my retainer because it's being weird, so I don't know if I put it in right. Nah, it's fine. Don't know what it is. Put a cow in there to eat all the grass. Yeah, I know, right? Grass and rock, which causes to have too many faces in Z fighting. So the v Z fighting itself wasn't the cause for the lag. Um, it's not good. You want to avoid having Z fighting, uh, but it's not the cause of the lag. The lag is all of the assets with too many faces, honestly, because I didn't see anything that would result in too many nodes. There definitely wasn't assets with like tons and tons of nodes. It was just a lot of grass and rocks that that those grass, you think about it, each one is like each little grass piece, each little tiny one is six faces and there's multiple in like a little bushel. So you think about each one of those so many times, so, so many times. All right, got to just quickly do this thingy that I've got to do real quick. It's annoying, but otherwise I'm not going to get paid. I don't want to get paid. More actions, void. And I do new one. Change that correct currency. Now you really are gonna have to excuse me because if I don't do this now. I might forget later, and I'm not forgetting later, so...
Okay, and that should be the correct, that's the correct currency. Save and send. Okay, great. Don't save. Great. Lovely. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, my question then, how do you guys expect to bring these massive expenses to mobile without crushing the phones? Mobile is quite a way off. I'm going to put that out there. As much as we obviously really, really want to get it to mobile, mobile is a little way off for getting that. We are optimizing for the... PC and consoles first, and then working on phones. But mo as much as we want mobile to obviously be, be main, it, we will be waiting a little bit longer than consoles, I believe. But it is still, yeah. Oh, giveaway. Yeah, let's do the giveaway. Let me just get the form for you guys. Make the form. Do the form. Set out the form. Make it big so I can find it. Ah. Okay. Yes. And shorten copy. Right. There we go. What item is the giveaway? The giveaway is the weapon crate. If you have already won a weapon crate, don't enter. Ribbed? What's ribbed? Is it ribbed for your pleasure? It's for the weapon crate. The scruffy one is for when I think you guys have been acting super, super, super good or we do something super, super fun. Although getting my new high score on the race maze Uh, maybe, maybe I'll do a... Oh, that reminds me, guys. I was going to... Maybe I'll do a Scruffy on Thursday. There won't be a stream on Thursday. Sorry, it is... Uh, we're having a two-day national bank holiday here in the UK for the Queen's 70th... Well, for Queen's Jubilee, uh, it is 70 years that she has been ruling. Um, So I won't be streaming on Thursday. I'm going to take the time. I'm going to go to Ikea, and then I am having a board game night with some of my friends. I mean, so some of the games, you got to remember with a few of the games within Season 2, they were created outside of the Sandbox team, so there were some issues with those, and the team worked very hard with those to try and, uh, with those people to try and get it to work. So, potentially, yes, it should be more optimised for sure, 100%. You know, optimization is what we're going for with all of this. But I miss board game night. Yay, board game night's fun. Name, not my Twitch name. Oh, <laughs> AYZ. You're going to have to tell me if you win that it's you. You have to tell me if it's you. It's Steve, right? Yeah, he was his name's definitely Steve.
Ah, oh, cool. This is the first time I've got one of these DMs on Discord. Uh, someone's trying to recruit me for a part-time job that I can do on my phone. It's a super simple job that I can do on my phone. I can work part-time. Uh, it requires only a minimum of 30 minutes of working time per day. Um, and then number two is full-time after completing three part-time tasks. Number three, owning a smartphone. So the work requirements is I need to own, own a smartphone. Number four, during the illness time, work is done from home. The job is very simple. You will get the salary immediately. Daily salary is 50 to 200 USDT. If you are interested in this part-time job, note this recruitment is only open to those over 18. Oh, I wonder why. Wow, if you are interested, please add Telegram. Never believe anything from anybody saying, go to my Telegram. I don't know what it is. You DM'd me just in case, no problem. Did you did you do it on, like, whisper me on Twitch? Or, yes, you did. Oh, I recognize that name. Do you put that in for, like, contests and stuff? If you've entered contests, I don't know why I I reckon like recognize the first part of your name that you put. And one of those tasks, oh, and one of those tasks to be to send a small amount to someone. I don't know. It didn't even say what the task was. It didn't give me any information. You subbed, oh, you, you subbed to me on, on YouTube and you use that name. There we go. I got such a great memory. My memory is so cool. Right. Let's close that. Right, guys, I am closing the form. Ah, you guys weren't very creative. You you will win, by the way. Wait, or you will win. Damn it! You don't lose for for putting the wrong place of where I am. But there was only only two different types of answers. You guys put UK and who knows. So thanks for that. There was no under the stairs and any you wanted to be funny with me. Let's check for duplicates. We don't have any duplicates. There are no duplicates. Hey, well done. I'm proud of you. Proud of you guys. Hey, Rush Park, boop goop to you. It is a good group. You guys are amazing. Okay, let's do it. Let's see who the winner is. Random number generator. Start at number two and go to 43. Not that much. Pull the 16th. Wait, what if you got two eyes? Is that two? Why would you have two ones before the five? You only have one one before the five. To make 14. Or you just pull XIIV instead of pull the 14th. You pull the 14th or you meant to be pull the 17th, in which case you need to switch your, your V with the two I's. That's, that's actually triggering me a little bit. Why have you done it that way? Make your name normal. Make it make sense. You just want to confuse the reader. Done. You, you did it. Well done. Congrats. Hey, Trouble Buffer, how you doing? Right, ready? Three, two, one. 32, let's see who number 32 is. Let's see who number 32 is. No! No, 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 that can't be right.
I am not joking when I say who this winner is, and now I'm a little bit triggered. Number 32. I've got to, I don't think that you have won before at all, uh, but I've got to just make sure I go over to my thing to make sure that you haven't won. But I'm pretty, pretty sure you haven't. Nope, you have not won. And you were watching on Twitch. And today's date is the 31st. And I'm marking you as yellow. So to the person that has won this, keep in mind that I bulk send out all assets when gas price is fairly low and usually once to twice a month. I have already done this month and also we're almost in June. You will most likely get this asset in June before I go to NFT NYC. But the winner, the winner is, the winner is Paul, the whatever number he's trying to be, Paul the 16th. This is insane that I picked up on your name and yeah, so you've won, you've won a weapon crate. This is what you've won. This is what you've won. That is so triggering. That you won. <laughs> the, the, like, not for you win, but like, the, like your name was triggering me. And then that's like, you know, the random number generator. It's just like, yeah, he should, he should have it. Oh. Uh, well, and she's mad about it. I'm not mad that he would. I'm just mad that like he his name was triggering me and I was looking at it and then like it's his name that comes up. That's so funny. <laughs> oh. Actually, I just want to write pool for 13. Then it's just but then why did you put the 5 there? You just needed to add an additional one. You didn't need to put the five. But you, you just needed to, like, you, you were doing it. You were doing the X, you did one, so 11. Right. You did the X, one, one, so you're at 12. And then you just needed to press that one, one more time. And you would have pulled the 13th. But also, well done, <laughs> well done. Don't and don't change your name. I love that it triggers me. It's 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 brilliant. It makes no sense. It's a bit like with um my middle name. My in fact no, my my actual real name. My mum didn't want to make grammatic sense, and then my middle name. She decided to make it as long as she possibly could without making it like with, with it still reading the way you should say it. Um, for the rest of us, I mean, some people are gonna lose, some people win. Panda needs to teach Roman numeral use. Everybody should know num Roman numerals. Although the way I learned it was probably a little bit more bizarre as to the reason that I learned it, which was uh, when I was about seven years old, I found out that my maternal nan was going to hospital and most likely going to be uh, not staying with us for much longer in the world and I was very upset about that and I couldn't sleep so I went downstairs and I picked up the world encyclopedia took that up to my bedroom flicked through a few pages until I came to a page about the kings and queens from William the first I probably can't do it now but I did at one point and I could potentially refresh my memory and memorize it pretty quick again because it will still be stored up there. But I did memorize all the kings and queens at the age of seven from William the first to Elizabeth the second and had to learn Roman numerals to understand those at that point. And also I think on like, no, Gex Gecko. On Gex Gecko, I'm pretty sure at some point they use Roman numerals in that and I like that. When kids picked up books. What is dictionary? <laughs> oh. 
So yeah, Steve, Steve, Steven. Who's Steve, Steven? Hmm? Right. Anyway. Oh, we're are we at time? Are we at three hours? Wow, that went fast. We've gone over three hours. Hey, uh, give me something that you guys want to learn that's quick. Like some tips that you guys want to know so I can teach you some tips real quick. How does one pick up information? I, I mean, read it. I imagine it's like four names, James, Henry, Victoria, Elizabeth, and then whatever number. Uh, so there's a John. There's one John. So it's just John. Uh, Henry, Edward, George. Uh... I don't know if that's one second. Stephen, the Stephen, Stephen, uh, Williams. There's Williams as well. Uh, Anne, there's there's Anne, there's um, and James. We've got James, Charles, James and Charles, Anne, because uh, you have uh, Anne, and then you have no, sorry. I first one second. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty. Yeah, it is Anne. So it's Anne, and then it's uh, Anne and James. There's always a Steve, Steve, Steve. What is my favorite, uh, favorite historical royal? Oh, so it's weird. Technically, both Elizabeth and Mary for different reasons. I find it absolutely fascinating that everybody calls Mary uh, Bloody Mary because of the amount of you know an aliving and stuff that she did. Uh, that was the reason she was called Bloody Mary. Also, she was found in a church in a nearby town that I once lived in at uh, one point in my life. So I always found that fascinating, being told that. But I actually also found it doubly fascinating that technically Elizabeth unalived more people than Mary, but got away with it more so because Mary did it in terms of you're going against the church, you're going against the church. She used the church as the reason. Elizabeth was much, much more sparta. And she said that these people need to be unalived because they are committing treason. So she actually did it more, but it was more accepted because in the public's eye, it was to do with treason. Also, Elizabeth I uh, was one of, uh, was uh, one major person to say, hey, I don't care what religion any of you support just as long as you visit my church so as long as you attended her church she didn't care what religion you supported or practiced same as mary queen of scots yes mary queen of scots is the same bloody mary yes and technically as well lady jane gray was on the throne for a very very short amount of time but not technically she was never fully crowned she was just given the title, I believe, whichever one, Edward, I think, Edward. Edward left her name to be crowned, and she had 14 days until Mary Queen of Scots came down and basically imprisoned her. I am also somewhat related down my line to Lady Jane Grey. My mum went through a whole ancestry phase. Um, also related to some Vikings that had some very, very odd names, like something like the, the Terrible and something like some other weird name. I'll have to double check with my mum because it was absolutely fascinating going through like the whole ancestry thing and working through it. And also... Um, like my, it's mostly to do with uh, that time of year, but like my great great grandfather was born in India, but most likely he was born still being, you know, British, but because of uh, what was happening at the time, many people were born over there. I'm going to meet Sebastian at Sandbox after party tomorrow. Yeah, you go do that, Trouble Buffer. You do it. You have a great time. And tell him I say hi. Fancy King Arthur, normal King Arthur. Merlin. Also, I have been to Tintagel where the... Uh, the... Where it's meant to be. They think that that is where Camelot was. Like, you know, King Arthur's castle uh, was meant to be where Tintagel is. And it overlooks where the cave of Merlin should be. Panda a Viking. I know, well, no, because Vikings are job... 
I can't be a Viking. I'm not going out pillaging and stuff like that. But through my ancestral line, I am related to Vikings. It is very, very diluted now because it is many, many centuries. Like, I think at some point, many of us across the world have a relative in common somewhere. I mean, I've met quite a few people when we've talked about ancestry and like if our parents have been into it we're like oh yeah William the Conqueror me too William the Conqueror too oh my gosh no blue no 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 right I'm gonna double check this no don't say that don't say that I'm gonna I'm, I'm messaging my mum right now she's on holiday so I don't know if she'll actually get back to me but um I'm looking it up. And most religions are the same, just transcribed, interpreted on different languages. Yes, this is why, so I don't like to say, I, I support everybody's religion. I am very open-minded to everybody's religious and personal beliefs. For me, I don't really believe in one religion. Do I think that there could be something out there in the vast entire universe, uh, more powerful and, you know, that could potentially have godlike power? Sure. Do I believe the earth was created by one being, planting stuff and doing all that? Not really. But I do like to think that there could be some sort of spiritual type thing out there. But personally, I don't, uh, like, you know, dedicate myself to one religion. I respect all religions and I like learning about different religions. In fact, whenever I visited places like um, Korea, China, uh, Japan, um, I've been to temples and things like that and I really like that and any other country I'll go to, I will try and experience that. I also think like in the UK, our churches are very, very beautiful built. They're very old buildings. They are very beautiful, very gothic, and I like that architecture. Um, not so much like the religious part, um, but where I am, we do have a priest. I don't know. We have a religious vicar type priest person. I don't know what one, but he's he's very very good. He does like a lot of talks at the schools. Uh, because our schools are like Church of England schools, so they always have somebody from the church go in and just generally talk. Um, but he's very good at really not pushing that idea. It's just a lot of his stuff is just more about like just general good morality, m morality things like being kind to one another, you know, stuff like that, without pushing a strong religious ethos behind it. I'm gonna, um, you're going on, uh, going there on behalf of Team Lady Pixie. Awesome. I didn't know you were part of Team Lady Pixie. That's cool. I mean, not really. I've never been christened. My, my mum was christened. I believe my, my biological dad was also christened. I've never really been raised. I went to a Church of England school. So I've been to those sort of things, but in terms of have I openly practiced Christianity? No. Um, do I plan to? When I plan to get married, do I plan to get married in a church? No, uh, because I'm not baptized. I don't really believe in a single God. Don't really believe in it. In Christian, but I had been hit by a bottle of champagne. I mean... I think I, I think that kind of doesn't count. I don't know what that means. I don't I don't know what that translates to. <laughs> but no, I wouldn't say because the thing is, I'm in the UK, which means we have a very very diverse amount of religions around here. Even in my small town, there's a very diverse amount of uh, religions being practiced just where I am. 
it's I feel like it's very different to how it is in America where most people do practice Christianity. I know there are definitely other religions there, but I feel like most people still you can correct me if I'm wrong, this could just be something I've heard like the louder people on the internet saying and that's like I've seen that so that's what I'm interpreting it at and I could be very wrong I'm sure I am what if your significant other is indeed Christian would you marry by the church no and he's not um and I don't even think he's been christened but no I wouldn't marry in a church I just I just wouldn't um I already know like the sort of place I want to get married in a stately home like a castle type place pretty much that's i've already decided um i also wouldn't change my religion would i support a significant other in their religion yes but it shouldn't come like at the expense of my beliefs and i strongly think that marriage doesn't need to be a religious affair I, honestly it can just be about two people wanting to, to just have a party basically Oh, the christening of boats is done with a trumpet. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, so you 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 are off to see new old vibes. On here, even on Twitter, you can see Sebastian tweeted a video about you. I know, Trouble. I saw that made me so happy. And I'm sure I we found out I didn't butcher his name eventually when I read it normally. But that made me so happy. I listened to it live on stream. And it gave me the super good feels inside and it, it, it was really lovely and I really liked it. And I didn't realize I had that many friends in or fans in Turkey. So I feel like I should definitely go visit Turkey. Um, yeah. Yeah, that translated to being seaworthy. You're seaworthy, my friends. Absolutely seaworthy. But no, I don't. Potentially, so what I would say is, yeah, I I don't know. I don't think I would. I wouldn't. I just know I wouldn't want to get married in a church. Don't want to. I like churches. I think they're nice. And like I said, I support anybody's religious belief, and I will take the time to listen to people's religious beliefs, and I will respect them, and to the extent, and I will also learn from them too. I I like learning and I like listening to those sort of things. As somebody who grew up in a Church of England school and having someone come into the school and preach those and during prayers and things like that, we also still learn about other religions within the school. It wasn't probably you only learn Christianity. We definitely learn numerous different religions um, for sure. Uh, but for me, it's just... I just don't really believe in any of that. But do I think that there's something bigger out there? Potentially, yes, that would be nice. But to pin it down to one God out of, what, like thousands that people have in their religions, just... What castle? Okay, my favourite castle is Beaver. Beaver Castle's my favourite. In, in the UK. In the UK, Beaver Castle's my favourite. Uh, but it's close enough to me. If I 100% got to choose a castle, I think it's Pendennis, which is down south. Uh, which is a little bit too far from where I am, like way too far. But yeah, be for castle. Okay, so I just realized so I, I am pretty sure I'm pronouncing it right because this is what we have always called it. And now I'm worried that I haven't, but it's spelled like Belvoir, but we call it Beaver. It is. It is pronounced that way. Beaver Castle. Yes. Yes, it is. I just had to double check. 
So here you go. That's, that's how you spell it. But it is pronounced beaver. And I was starting to get triggered when I went to type it. I was like, oh shit, wait, it's spelled. But it is, it's beaver castle. Beaver castle. Believe in God, but don't forget to tie up your camel. Very practical. Wait, there's a wonderful little... Believe in... Wait, what? I feel like... What, M de, <laughs> M de Vela? What? Like, I feel like that doesn't translate to me. <laughs> what? But also, I've, I've been on a camel. It was quite terrifying to go from like getting on it to then like when it raised, I was like, damn, I'm high. Sounds like beaver. Yeah, beaver. So it's spelled well, wah, but you pronounce it beaver. Like the animal beaver. I think so. We did. Okay. Whoever said it? Who said it? We, I've messaged my mum and I didn't put the full name. I just said, would it did um it, when you I was like when you was on Ancestry did one of our Viking family members have the nickname Bluetooth and she was like think so so was related to some sort of Viking Bluetooth guy uh because I'm pretty sure I made a joke about Bluetooth which is why it clicked uh but yeah 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 yeah, yeah. But I'll get, when, when my mum's back from holiday, I'll get her to double checks. It probably won't be until after next week. Um, but I'll be able to confirm this. How are Bluetooth descendants? That's nuts. Yeah, I, th I, I assume so. I'm going to put, put the name. This is probably where I'm, she's going to be looking on her phone. Like, I'm going to get back on Ancestry. Oh. Harold. You are, aren't the maker person per se, Vox Mama, but, but what? But, uh, we need a techno viking avatar <laughs> with the techno viking dance. The game feels uh, empty without it, okay. How can we send an experience between accounts to share workload? I don't know, I'm so sorry. Oh wait, no, no, no. So I believe, I feel like some, Either you asked me this and I mentioned it to someone. So right now, right now, the only way I can think of is that you have an account that every, like you have a sandbox account that everyone has access to and you use that. So people access it that way. Um, so you log in with that account and you all have access would be the easiest way. Uh, currently at this moment in time, there is no sharing of like, I have this and I send it to you to do a little bit and you send it back to me uh, without me giving you the password uh, and it being on my account. Potentially in the future, this might change. I will double check though. Think so. My mum just said think so. What is everything? Think so. Okay, yeah. Why are you are you related to Har Harold Bluetooth as well? Are, are we are we related? <laughs> are we uh, are we are we are we are we descendants both from Harold Bluetooth? <laughs> Sounds so weird when I say it. Oh, you remember good old Harold? No, but he he is the namesake for Bluetooth. Is he really? I didn't know that. But yeah, apparently. Like the Viking. Yeah, apparently, like my mum's my saying think so. Let's, let's take that with a grain of salt, really. Your profile, select experience and click on transfer your experience. You need the what? Why? 9878's got the answers. There we go. I love it when you guys have the answers for other people. This, this is legit why I've stayed on. I'm already past time and I already invoiced them for only three hours for today. So I'm sticking here with you guys to find out if, um, oh, she sent me a photo now. Yeah. Ha King Harold Herbastus, the first blue, uh, first Bluetooth King of Denmark, Gormson, 1910 to 1987. My, or my mum's 30th great grandfather. So my 31st great grandfather is King Harold Herbastus Bluetooth. 
I'm committed to this Bluetooth dark side. Yeah, she's just sent me her ancestry thing. Uh, does it have any of her details on there? Not because he hooked up many accessories to his iPhone. <laughs> Bluetooth was out before iPhones. Don't be silly. That's so cool. I know, right? I'm super cool. Yeah. Are you calling me easy, but oh gosh, don't call him easy. His my how dare you talk about my thirty first gra great grandfather that way? <gasps> oh, I can't believe you said that. But also, also, I have a great friggin' lineage. Where's my in castle? This is what I said to my mum when she first did ancestry thing, and she was working through. It's like clearly, clearly, none of our relatives are like firstborns for this. So it's fun that my mum is a firstborn and I'm a firstborn. And um, where's my freaking castle? The throne showed a panda's, a panda's ancestors. Yeah, just never know with Roy. <laughs> oh. But like, where's my freaking castle? Where is it? Where's my royalties to do with Bluetooth? <laughs> Oh, uh, this is fun, right? I'm glad. I'm glad we 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 settled that. That I am, in fact, related to Harold Bluetooth. Good old Harold. In it, right? My thirty-first great grandfather. When I use the mount template and go into Game Maker, I can't mount it. Is there something that I missed, or should it just work on interaction? Uh, an NPC on it. Uh, I just delete. Uh, so yeah, currently the mount doesn't work that way. It is just an NPC mounted on it. Also, I do believe it is a little bit broken and should be being fixed, which I hope has a fix with the next update, as far as I'm aware, because on the Create Fund, we've all been told not to use it. We all got told, don't use the mounted template. It doesn't work properly. Um, but I do believe that it's, yeah, it's just ma uh, yeah for a humanoid rider. So it's for a humanoid rider. So I assume it is for the NPC rather than otherwise it might say we yeah. So you're not meant to be able to get on it, which is you know annoying. But it says that. But sure. Well, wild stream. This has been <laughs> this is the craziest surprise I was not expecting. I mean, were you expecting me to get my the mold of my teeth out and start talking with them? Going like, hello. Hey, was he? What did you clip? Oh no, you're sending. Yeah, no, is that a clip? Oh yeah, there we go. There we go. Hello, hello. Okay, I'm just really weird. Okay, yeah. The weird is fun. Weird is fun. Blue runs in the veins, I know. You do have a throne. Is this my throne? This is my throne. My computer chair is my throne. <gasps> you will all bow before Queen Panda because I'm not giving you my real name. We're all right today, best stream. <laughs> but I know it's been it's been an odd one. It has for sure been an odd one. Anyway, we are we are finishing up. We are finishing up because I still need to have my evening walk. I have only done... Let me check. I have only done... Come on, load. I've only done five and a half thousand steps. Got to do another four and a half thousand. I might, I might just reach 7k instead of 10k today. Yeah, we'll just do 7k today and I'll do some like push-ups and sit-ups to make up for it and some jumping jacks. But, like, jump, 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 jump. What is your most viewed clip? Have, where have you posted it? Have, have you already posted it? It's, like, it's saying it's only got three views. Hello. 
If you if you want to post it on Twitter, I am okay with that. If you yeah, yeah. If you want to post it on Twitter. Hello, hello. Okay, I'm just really. That has a. Oh, it's only showing us three. But if you did want to post it on Twitter, I am okay with that. If you don't, I may I may do it. I may do it to myself. Change name blue hair. <gasps> oh my gosh, I did. That didn't even occur to me. I am Panda the Great Blue Hair, the first. Where's my I'm gonna have a crown. Oh, wait, because then over a week's gone, you guys are gonna forget that all of this by next week. But yeah. I don't think I ever post clips. Okay, I'll post it. Let me get it. How do I, how do I, oh, I can click Twitter. Okay, let's just work this. Weird as fun. Oh, whoops. Right, go back. All right, discard. I did it wrong. Right, Twitter. There we go. With blue and horned helmet, braids not necessary. I can do little, I can do little plaits for sure. But I can do it so if we get like a little bit of hair. Three parts, like not proper braids, but I can at least plait. I want it to go away. My fringe. I could probably do it where I gather up the rest of the hair. Blue hair horns. I don't. I don't think I could. Like unless I get some wire to to put in my hair as I braid it. To do like a Pippi Longstockings kind of situation. You're good. Uh, it's a simple plait. I wasn't even gathering the other hair in. I'm not that good. My step aunt is really, really good though. She's, well, she's a hairdresser. She kind of has to be, but she does really, really good. Like different sort of plait, plaiting styles. We call them plaits here. A braid to me is a little different. But anyway, we're, we're finishing up. We're finishing up. I will be back not on Thursday. I'm sorry, but I'm going to Ikea. It's a bank holiday here, so I'm going to Ikea. Uh, can I plug my YouTube channel? I did voxel art on it. Sure, why not? You've been here enough to talk about it. Uh, that's one thing I would like to say. I don't mind people that want to say, hey, I make voxel art on my channel and stuff like that. As long as you just don't overdo it, as long as like you're here generally enjoying the content and stuff. I honestly don't mind when people want to say, hey, I do this or I do that. In fact, I quite like to know the people that are making things so I can check it out for myself when I have the time. And but yeah, gotta say Bluetooth does have a little pirate sound to it as well. Aha, maybe. Oh, wait, let's do. Why are pirates called pirates? I'll wait. I know there's a stream delay, so I'll wait. Why are pirates called pirates? I'll wait. I'll wait. I've got. I've got one more after this one. And this is gonna be really, really embarrassing. Okay, enough times passed, so I'm gonna say. It. So why are pirates called pirates? Because they are. And then number two, two. Please, please forgive me. Please, please forgive me. Um, number two joke is, what is a pirate's favorite fabric? What is a pirate's favorite fabric? Also gonna like just switch to the screen now so I can start closing stuff and being prepared. 
Panda's pen out. <laughs> All right, so what is a pirate's favorite f type of fabric? Ah, guile. Are you proud of me? Are you proud of me? Ah, Argyle. 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 Did you call it? Yeah, you did. You did call it. It's it's great. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And on that note, oh, nice one. Thanks. Ah, oh, you're so nice. You're so kind. Anyway, on that note, I am finishing up. Won't be here on Thursday. What, don't stream on Friday. I will be back on the official Sandbox channel. So what? Doing my usual Vox edit, nurse. Uh, we finished all the portraits, so I don't think I need to make any more. No, I need to do Lucas. I'm doing Lucas's meat suit. Anybody that was here for the Monday Sandbox stream will know what I mean. Anyone who doesn't, tune in for the Monday Sandbox stream so you get to actually know what I am on about. And then I will be back on Tuesday. Have a good morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you guys are in the metaverse. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.